Hello, everyone, and welcome to MathX. Today, we have an amazing equation to solve. And we're going to have two ways to deal with this equation. OK, now looking at both sides, um, let's do some guesswork. If x is 1, the left side becomes 1, right side becomes 4. Now let's come up with something bigger than 1, like 2. If I use 2, this left side becomes 1 over 2. This side got smaller. If I use 2 here, this would be 16, OK? So if increase x, the right-hand side will grow. This side will get a smaller. So it's safe to say that x will be, OK, smaller than 1, OK? Now, my question is, is it possible for x to be a negative value? Like, for example, negative 1. Let's assume this is negative 1 and this is negative 1. The left side will be 1 over negative 1, negative 1. But the right side, what is 4 over negative 1? I'm going to show it here. This becomes 1 over 4 to power of positive one, which is gonna be one over four. So the left side becomes negative one, and the right side becomes something positive. So it's safe to say that X cannot be negative as well. So X will be larger than zero. So I think it's possible to guess the value uh, of X, but in this video, we're going to actually try to solve it. Let's just do some guesswork. Okay, to actually solve these types of questions, we always have to increase the power, come up with something to simplify this. Okay, now if I put numbers here, like one over two, like two, two, does it help? Well, I don't think so. But you see, if I add 1 over x to both sides, something very fun will happen, right? We'll have 1 over x here, 1 over x here, 1 over x here. OK. And now let's deal with this part, OK? We know that a to power of m and again to power of n when we want to deal with this, we just have to multiply m and n, OK? So that means I'm going to write the, the left side here, 1 over x to power of 1 over x becomes 4 times x multiplied by 1 over x, which is going to be simplified. This will be simply 1, OK? so. I want, just want to keep it just like this. OK, now I think a lot of you know what to do. I'm going to write this 4 as 2 to power of 2. And by comparison, it's very easy. 1 over x will be 2. So I'm going to write it here. OK, and then easy peasy. x will go up, 2 will go down. So it's going to be 1 over 2 equals x. And I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please leave a like button, hit the like button. And uh, if you are interested in types of videos, hit the subscription button.